Hello and welcome to another Children's Moments here at Heavenward Thinking. Today we're talking about soaked up and squeezed out. So I'm going to turn it over to Miss Ruth and she'll get us started on our object lesson today. This object lesson can be used for kids, teens, and adults. We all have times like these sponges when we feel like life is just squeezing everything out of us. I want to share some verses from Romans chapter 5 verses 3 to 5. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So trials can squeeze us out and we can have those trials make us better and make us, like this verse, these verses say, to have perseverance and character and character hope and hope through Christ. We're gonna do a little object lesson here about being squeezed out and the way we are squeezed out, how it affects other people. We'll be looking at some other verses as we go along. So as you can see here, Timothy, what do I have set up in front of us? A bunch of sponges, some water, something else. So I have some colored liquid for those of you who are listening to the podcast. I have some Pepsi colored liquid and I have some water here and I have some pieces of sponge. So we're going to demonstrate some different things that we can be soaking up in our life and squeezing out. And whatever we soak up and squeeze out can affect other people. So right now I'm going to soak up with the water here with this first sponge. And as I squeeze it into the Pepsi here, you can see the Pepsi beforehand. And as I squeeze it in, what happened, Timothy? It got lighter? It got lighter. It affected it, didn't mm -hmm. it? Now we can do the other way too. We can soak up with this other sponge. We're going to soak up some of the Pepsi. And we're going to squeeze it into this cup of water. And what do you know has happened to that? It's very dark. It got very dark. So let's talk about what these two represent so far. For first of all, we want to be soaked up with things that are good that can affect the darkness around us and that would be when we're soaking up with the water here representing good things of God and we squeeze it into our dark world here we ended up lightening it up didn't we mm. but if we soaked up with our other sponge the dark things and we squeeze that out into our world around us we darken it don't mm. we mm -hmm. so there's some words that go with that or some verses I should say in Ma Matthew chapter 12 verse 35 it says this a good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. So you can think of the good man as the good things that were soaking up was like the water, and it was diluting this, the Pepsi, which represented the evil. Not that Pepsi is. We're just using something dark. And then we have the opposite, though, the Pepsi, the darkness, soaking up that and affecting the good around us. Then there's another verse that goes is similar to this in Luke chapter 6, verse 3. 45. It says, a good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. Sounds very familiar. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So now let's look at a better way of doing this. So what if we totally soak up from this next thing of water and we totally soak up the things of God? Before we do that, let's read some verses to go with that. One of the things we can be soaking up of God is his word. So if we go to Psalms 119, I thought I had this one marked. I apologize that I didn't have this one marked. Verse 11, it says, I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So one of the good things of God we can be soaking up is his word. Another one would be from Romans chapter 15, verse 13. It says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So we want to be filled up with the hope from God and have him fill in us with his word and with his hope. And then also, if he's doing that and the Holy Spirit is working in our lives, we can be filled with the fruit of the Spirit. In Galatians 5, 22 to 23, it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Again, such things there is no law. And we know, even as Christians, it's sometimes we soak up the things that aren't so great, and we need to be looking at what we should be soaking up. So now watch what happens to this. So here's another sponge, totally clean. I'm going to let it completely soak up the water here. 
as much as I can. So it's totally saturated with water. Now I'm going, so this is the person who soaked up God's word, God's spirit, the things of God, the hope of God, trusting in God. And now when we stick that in the dirty world, the things that want to affect us, we can't soak them up anymore much, can we? Mm. Look at that. We're protected. Do you see anything on that sponge, no. Timothy? So when we're completely, t- completely saturated with God, we can't soak up any of the bad there. And so one more thing to go with us here. One more sponge here. This sponge is what? Completely not wet. Completely dry. We can also get that way too. When we're not soaking up any good <laughs> and we're just completely dry, are we usable? Would you want to use this to clean no, your car? No, you can't do anything with that. No. So we want to make sure we're doing like this sponge that completely saturated with the things of God, his word, his spirit, his hope, and then we can't soak up the other. And when we squeeze this one out, what do we squeeze out? Clean. Cleanness and things of God. Any thoughts on that, Timothy? I think that's amazing. I think it's a good challenge for our viewers to make sure that they're spending time in God's word and prayer, making sure they're soaking up the fruit of the spirit and exhibiting that fruit of the spirit and not being filled with the things of the world and being a light in a dark world, as we can see here through this great object lesson. So I hope you've been challenged by that this week and that you'll join us next time for another episode of Children's Moments here at Heavenly Thinking.